Whoa, Hawkeye Holler Nation, stand up and welcome back to the channel. How the hallelujah are you doing? Man, I was not expecting to film a couple videos back to back tonight. Just got home from work and what was sitting on my doorstep? Both the E and F 2022 Monster Truck Factory Sealed Cases. So we're going to go ahead and open the E case today and we're going to open the F case probably Tuesday for you guys. So I'm excited. I honestly don't know what's in these cases. Man, We've gotten lucky once. As you guys can see, we've opened the other four cases of the year so far. If you haven't seen that playlist, it will be linked at the end of this video. I don't know why I pointed down. It'll be linked at the end of this video. So go ahead, watch this video first, and then you guys can go over and watch the other 2022 Monster Truck Factory sealed cases all the way from A to D so far. So of course, we're diving into E tonight. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. If you're new here, do yourself a favor, subscribe, ring that bell, become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today. You're home for Monster Truck Diecast Racing. We have fun with the Hot Wheels as well. And you guys can call me the Monster Truck Daddy or Hawkeye or Holler, Hawkeye Holler, whatever you want to call me. You can call me anything you want. Just if it's bad, prepare to have a thumb down in the comment. I don't know. Anywho, let's go ahead and open up the E case. Oh, sometimes I just get to ranting. I don't know what I'm saying in intros. But yes, here it is. The factory sealed E case as well as the F case. I cannot wait to see what's in this. Hopefully you guys are ready. If you're ready for this unboxing, do me a solid. Smash that like button. Especially if you're into monster truck content. <gasps> Dale Sr.? So I still have plenty of stickers left if you would like to purchase a sticker. Stickers are $5. That covers postage and a mailing out to you guys. I also have pins available. You guys can get these for ten dollars actually you know what right now we'll do pins for seven dollars so yeah we'll do pins for seven dollars and if you want a combo of sticker and pins we'll go ahead and do it for ten that's shipping involved just shoot me an email or get a hold of me on instagram all right let's open a case all right adam the woo does it if you guys don't know who adam the woo is he's one of my favorite youtubers of all time but here we go Oh my gosh, it is time for the factory sealed E-Case 2022 Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. You get eight trucks in this set. Like I said, I do not even know what trucks are in the E-Case. So you and I, we're about to have some fun. Got a little knife. Here we go. Let's dive on in. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the video to see what my favorite truck is from the 2022 E-Case. I tipped you guys over. Cut! Wow, that was embarrassing. Add that to the history books. Oh my gosh. Try not to do that again. But yes, stick around to the end of the video. You guys will see my favorite truck from this 2022 E-Case. All right, go ahead, fold it open, lay it down. Fold this on back. Eight trucks, here we go. Let's see if we can just tip you guys up just a wee bit. All right, there we go. Oh, I see some good ones in this. Is that Town Hauler? Now, I believe there is a chase piece in this set, but if we get it, I do not know, because I think it's this one right here, the square body. So let's go ahead and pull it out. There it is. There is the Chevy Silverado square body, new for 2022. The red one is a chase piece. I do recall seeing that on Instagram. If I can find a picture, I will put it up for you. All right. 83 Chevy Silverado truck type pickup strength bow tie breaker. You know, it took me the longest time to figure out the Chevy emblem was a bow tie. Did you guys know that? Let me know in the comments down below. And it is a heart beater. Interesting. Not a heartbreaker, a heart beater. But yes, I love this green and silver paint scheme. You know, Chevy square bodies are, you know, living in Iowa. You see these things all the time. And honestly, they look just like this. Big old tires, big old lift kits. I love the flag that they're that this is coming with. Hopefully, Hot Wheels does more of the flags. Very, very nice indeed. Love this truck. So, yes, the red one is a chase piece. If I find a picture, I will put it up on the screen for you. So, we did not find the chase piece for the monster trucks of the E-Case, but you know what? That's A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, the next one is the newly recolored Shark Reek, new for 2022. Kind of looks like a, uh, I don't want to say skeleton, but almost like a, uh, 
like a a flame a smoke flame kind of livery on here if you guys can kind of tell and i love almost the teal turquoise wheels they went with a very light shade of blue kind of matches the paint scheme Let's see if i can get you guys a little bit closer but yeah look at that kind of yeah it almost looks like a skeleton but like smoky almost i like it i like it a lot and this is part of the x wrecker series so it's like an x-ray okay interesting looks so you guys go to the doctor, you get an x-ray, and this is what it looks like. So we got Creature Powerful Jaws and Shark Tooth Chomp. We didn't really look at the trucks that come in this, but here we go. Chevy Silverado. You got a Ford Raptor. Nice. I haven't seen a Ford Raptor monster truck. Interesting. Here's Shark Reek. Town Hauler. Yep. Town Hauler's back. Bigfoot. Nacho Mamas. Bone Shaker and Leonardo. So I wonder if we're going to get all the Ninja Turtles this year again. So there it is. There's Shark Reek. All right, I see B -b 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 Bone Shaker coming up next. We've seen this Bone Shaker several times before, but you know what? Part of the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Live. I haven't gone to see Monster Truck Live. My girlfriend and I, we were thinking about going to Monster Jam this weekend, but we're going to be out of town, so it's kind of upsetting. Maybe we'll do a Monster Jam vlog next weekend. Not next weekend, next year, I apologize. But yeah, there's Bone Shaker. We definitely have a Battle of the Big Blocks Monster Truck event coming up, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Bone Shaker stats, Hot Rod, Skull Grinding Grill, and Skull Smackdown. All those sound terrified. There's Bone Shaker. Classic. All right, up next. Ooh, look at this. This is the Ford Raptor. Oh, my gosh. Look at the paint scheme on this. This is so nice. Look at this. At first, I thought it was all blue, but no, it is a silver body with almost like uh, like a graffiti livery. That is so cool. Hot Wheels Racing. I love the blue wheels that they went with. Orange chassis. Man, this looks amazing. This is part of the Crash Legends. This is number 7 of 11. See, what I love about the Ford Raptors is that wide body kit they come with. Man, I love it. This is just a good looking truck all the way around. Definitely contender for number one. Go ahead and look at stats. Bird of Prey, you can get it because it's a raptor and they kind of turn into chickens. Catch and Crush. Man, look at that, that is so cool. I love this truck, you guys. All right, halfway through E-Case. And we got the OG himself, the muddied up Bigfoot. Man, look at this. This is part of the Crash Squad number one of four. Look at this. I absolutely love the muddy scheme. We saw Town Hauler with a muddy scheme. Not quite as uh, not quite as muddy. It was more of a tan than anything, but man, this is just straight up mud. Man, Bigfoot was born in the mud. Look at this mud all the way around. Absolutely a beautiful truck. I really wish they could put the Ford licensing on this, though. That would really make it even better. There's Bigfoot on the back. Look at this. This is so cool. So cool. E-Case has been one of the best cases so far. So we got Crash Duck, cr Car Crushing Shocks, and Original Stomp. Man, we got so much contenders for number one, you guys. You're not going to want to miss what my favorite one is. Here we go. You guys know this is my favorite monster truck of all time. The prodigal son, as I call him, Town Hauler with his psychodelic scheme. This is the sixth truck of the year for the psychedelics. Guys, look at this. Admire this paint scheme with me. Look at this. White wheels, brown chassis. No, sorry, gold chassis. Look brown right here. Gold, brown, gold, brown, gold, brown. But yes, look at this. Look at the Hot Wheels logo on top. And I love, love that uh, that groovy Monster Trucks logo. Holy smokes. This is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful truck. Two School was great. Uh, Recreational was good. Wasn't my favorite. The Volkswagen Bug was all right. Two School would probably be second. And then Dairy Delivery third. But man, Town Hauler. Number one on the track and number one in our hearts. What do we got here for, are the stats the same? 360 degree vision and parking lot pilot. But yes, look at this. Look at this skeleton. Just hanging out, having a good time up there. So cool. 
All right, and of course, the final two are repeats. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. Not my favorite turtle. My favorite turtle is Donatello, but you know, you can't go wrong with good old Leo. So I'm curious if we will actually see the other turtles this year or not. I, I feel like we would, but you never know. So we got Driven to Perfection and Katana Crush. Yeah, I love this artwork. Love the artwork. Very cool. And lastly, drumroll please, we have Nacho Mamas. If you guys haven't seen my fast food monster truck tournament, go check it out. We had a lot of fun with it. Nacho Mamas was pretty quick. This is actually a very heavy casting. If you guys are into uh, downhill racing monster trucks, this is definitely a casting to get because it's big and heavy. The only problem with it is it tends to wiggle in the track just a little bit. At least the first two I have do. This one may be a little bit different. But yeah, definitely pick up a Nacho Mamas. Hot and saucy, melty crunch. And that is the 2022 E-Case. Let's go ahead and uh, show you what my favorite truck is. I think you guys know what it is. All right, Hawkeye Holler Nation. I have to do it. I'm sorry. My favorite truck from the 2022 E-Case is this Town Hauler. I absolutely love, love, love this truck. You know, not only is it my favorite monster truck, but dang, look at this paint scheme. This paint scheme just sold it for me. But it was a close second because second was definitely Bigfoot. Man, I loved the Muddy Bigfoot. And following it up is, of course, the Ford Raptor. But it was tied with third with the Chevy Square Body. But yes, Town Hauler. Favorite truck from the 2022 E-Case. But now, my question to you, Hawkeye Hauler Nation. What was your favorite truck from the 2022 E-Case? And that's going to do it for this 2022 Monster Truck E-Case unboxing. Man, I was not expecting to have Town Hauler in that case and have it be as beautiful as it was. The decor... See, this is the thing with Hot Wheels. Every year, they get better with their monster trucks. Like, their, de like their decos, their liveries... Even what they're doing with the rims. I saw a two-pack on Instagram with a Corvette that has mirrored hubs. Holy moly. Hot Wheels. Very much bravo for you this year for the 2022 Monster Trucks. I cannot wait to see what you guys dish out for 2023. But that's going to be a wrap here from the Hauler. Hawkeye Hauler Nation, thank you for tuning in to this unboxing. Like I said, we got the F case coming up later next week. Hopefully you guys are ready for it. If you enjoyed this video, do me a solid. Smash the like button. Don't forget, drop those comments down below. I want to know what your favorite monster truck was from this 2022 E-Case. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell. If you'd like to help keep the show on the road and fun videos just like this, my Patreon is linked down below, as well as my YouTube memberships. Go follow me over on Instagram. Go join the Discord. Rep your official Hawkeye Holler merch. And with that being said, peace, love, and Hot Wheels. I'll see you guys next time here on The Holler. Max V.